right okay it's another try it tuesday i thought i would um attempt this one i haven't got the little diary pages there or anything and it's going to be slightly different because i'm going to make this bit into a pocket so but it you know it comes from this if you know what i mean so it just shows you where my ideas come from once i see something like this yeah i've got um and it's not going to be the same color or anything like that because i'm using my um this journal that i'm doing it's rather grungy if you know what i mean it's just got loads of bits and pieces in i might actually make two out of that once i've finished all inside um so i'm going to do something for the center i have got the center page here actually which is quite thin so just going to cover it and um see what happens really yeah so i thought that this these were going to go on the inside yeah of the page like so i'll cut it to size as well um and then a page like this will go over the top and it'll be tall down this will be backed as well because i need this quite sturdy because it's going to be a pocket um i haven't like i say i haven't got the diary page which is that there so i've got this it's come from the scrap store it's just sort of i've got a few of those so i thought that's going to go in the middle instead of <laughs> so and then the butterfly will go on that there we go that'll be something and i thought um this i haven't got any um i've got the stamp with this but i haven't got any black i don't think tickets like that i can't remember i might have i might have done some i can't remember um if not i thought i would try and do like a re resist technique yeah and then paint it black and then wipe it off do you see what i mean so that might be interesting just to get that sort of effect that i wanted and it might work might not but let's have a go okay so i printed out these so i wanted them numbers i've done this a while ago i haven't i haven't put it in the etsy shop or anything yet because i haven't sort of finished it i've got about four pages but i keep using these actually in my artwork so okay um i think i'll use that, that one there so that's what we're yeah i'm i'm all right with that my printer at the moment has decided not to print blue out but actually because that's supposed to be quite a bright blue but that's okay but actually better <laughs> yeah no that that'll be fine that'll be great okay let's get going then right that's the page that needs cutting down but that's okay so i'm gonna actually stick that onto here that's the first thing i'm gonna do now, i thought it was quite nice to do a center spread because i've done a lot of tags lately and you know i am obsessed with tags i will say i do like making them so you do see a lot of them from me Okay. Right, I'll tell you what I have got. It might be nice for a change. Just got some of this. I can't remember what it's called, but cool. I wish I'd known about this years ago. That'd been fantastic for embroidery. I mean I can't do embroidery now because of my eyesight, but I should post a link below where I got this from. I know it was Amazon, but I think this will fray beautifully. Yeah. I want a bit of this, so let's just cut a bit off. Because I always use, um, you know, cheesecloth or muslin or things like that. And I thought, oh, that looked different. So I'd give that a go. Be nice 
must have had a nice straight side. <laughs> I'm just going to cut along here because that's it won't work with that there. Okay. I'm not even sure whether I'll be able to do it because um, okay. so let's take some of that off. Yeah, we're still on that bit, see? Right, you've got to make a ladder in it. And then you can cut along that ladder. And at least I can straighten it up. It needs to come in a little bit more. there okay a bit fiddly but you know it's okay and then you you actually cut down that ladder and it becomes fairly straight if you follow the ladder and not go off like me okay and that can use that in something and we even use these threads because they're quite nice threads actually so they'll definitely come in handy i need a little tub to put them in okay well that's fairly straight i'm i'm okay with that and then to cut it again i do exactly the same thing as, as i will about there i think try and get a bit my arms are getting short with my eyesight because <laughs> I, I need to hold things out here now <laughs> I'll see what I mean in a minute those are lovely threads I bet they'll die nice too there we go see got a nice ladder there that we can follow now I remember I um, went to buy some jute fabric once and I said, how do you cut this straight? And she showed me that little trick and I thought, oh my gosh, why, why didn't I know about that? <laughs> okay. that down there and actually fray it but actually it's quite quite wide so I might cut that in half again okay it's perfect if you look on this one I mean that is actually most probably um she's backed it all the way around or she's put this on to a piece of um similar stuff like dew or something like that I'm not doing that okay so that's why I'm doing this I'm just going to actually stitch that on each end so that we can um <clears throat> make it look like that even though we're not doing that i'm just putting a tiny bit of that on just to hold it in place while i stitch and i will do a zigzag stitch right the way down okay oh, i'm gonna come off the edge a little bit so i can fray
Okay, and while that's drying, I have um, have a look at this. I think this is quite thin, so I'm going to have to back it as well. What I'm going to do is I'll cut this off. Oh, tear it off a minute. I'm going to tear it a bit more than that. Okay, I want to leave a bit to tear, so right, definitely need to back that. So, any spare card? I think I've got some. I've... Right, so I just back that to bit a bit as well. All right, if you um, if you've printed on or got some, it was thicker. It's okay. There was a, that was just paper thin, really not paper thin, but you know, like it's about sixty GSM, and it wouldn't have stood up to anything going in and out of the pocket. So that's why I backed it. But let's say you don't always have to do that. So I've folded that in half for now. Okay. Because I actually want to tear. So look. Okay. So that will go there. There's the pocket. There. And I reckon it's about there. So we need to come at least here. So, all right. Sort of, yeah, it's going in my mouth. I mean, this is a definite, um, what do you call it, journal, you know? Fun. Yeah, that's all right. I have to trim a bit off that, but it might look okay once I've stitched it. So that's there. Let's make sure that's in the middle. Okay. Oh, get down there. job and then that will be inked up and stitched so I'm going to ink all around there and there and then put some zigzag stitching on that bit okay and then I'm going to put some zigzag stitching on those bits as well okay I just had a check there that that is great so that's what I've done okay and that's going to be the pocket there this and um, we can fray that now because of um, being stitched. Okay. And it frays beautifully. Don't want that bit there. Okay. And we keep it nose. For them now, I should have put in a little bag really, or so they do tend to escape. I've got my butterfly now. I've done, I've got a couple of those that I've done ages ago. There is a video whether I could find it or not, I don't know. Okay, but that's a Tim Holtz, a Sizzix, I think it was the, the big sty, you know, the thick black ones, one of his original ones, I think, or it might be just Sizzix. I really can't remember, but I'd already done those. Okay, and that's going to go in the middle. This is yep it's gonna have to be torn down a little bit okay so i don't want it overhanging and that's sort of that is gonna go there but i'm gonna do this up a little bit because it's too white and i'm also gonna stain up this a bit as well okay because that's got little white bits on so vintage photo i think and here before i forget let's blend that in a bit
Well, mine's printed on a laser printer, so you won't need so much ink on an ink with an inkjet because it's still porous, whereas this is not porous now. Let's see if that blends a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. That's great. I am. I am going to spritz a little bit of water. Just to add a little bit of interest to that. Okay, that'll go away for a minute. And... Oh, what am I doing? That's there. Let's... um see what this is okay and I think we'll go with the torn edge again the right, butterfly is going to be yeah so I reckon I'm gonna tear from about here Yep, that's cool. Right, to leave that alone for a minute. And we shall do this up. Um, this is shiny. Okay, so I'm going to have to gesso it, I think. Yeah, I am. And I'm going to sand it a little bit too. If I can find my little nail file. Okay, I'm just going to... I'm going to keep that on the top there, but I can't see. Right, while this is drying, I'm going to spritz with a bit of tea and coffee, yeah. I'm going to ink around, okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of water after I've inked, yeah. Like that, I'm actually going to use a bit of ink. Um, what colour was we? Right, okay. I'm just checking that. I don't want too much because we've already got quite a lot going on there actually um yeah we have i'm leaving it because i think it will be overload and that looks nice that's all of, um do something with that ink and then a little bit of well, coffee or tea that is actually i put alcohol in with it i sort of it's about a third alcohol to two or one part alcohol to two parts tea or coffee and it seems to last for ages or you can mix up your vintage photo is quite good with water watered down i used to do that quite a bit oh, i still got some somewhere okay that because it's plastic plastic ish I feel a bit yeah like that and then I'll just go around again there 
deepen that bit. Oh, don't let me lose that. Okay, so handle with care. Right, I, I I might have, like I said, I might have one, but I'm going to do it the the other way. Okay. Um. Uh, right, I need some... I think I'll go for cream card, I think. What I'm going to do is actually just ink it up a little bit as well. Just a bit. I'm going to dry that because I don't want the embossing powder to stick to this. I'm not sure whether it will, will, but just in case. Okay, I'm going to need clear embossing powder. I've got special handling. I don't know whether I've got handle with care. I've got fra fragile handle with care. Oh, I think I've got that handle with care separate. It might be in here. Fragile. Okay. With care. Oh. Okay. Let's get some. <laughs> I need to clean that off. <laughs> Oops. That's what you get when you don't clean your stamps. Oh, still in there. I've got one of those cleaners somewhere. Wait, oh, I can see it under there. So. Okay, this is what I've got. Um, it's old as the hills, this one. Okay, and you spritz a bit on there. I think I've actually even used that. <laughs> yeah. So, this is called Ultra Clean. The Ultimate Rubber Stamp Cleaner. Okay, now this is Yonks Old, so it might be called something different now. I don't know. Okay, you just do that and then it sort of it gets in inside all there. Yeah. Cleans it all out, and then this one is supposed to be for drying. Okay, that's what you do more often than I do. <laughs> okay. Right, shall we try again, folks? Now use Versamark or you've got the Dauber thing from Tim Holtz. Yeah, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do one down there like that. And I'm also going to do it on a bit of white. That's not going to move. Right. I think the white might be a bit better. So, okay. Could do with this is quite thick embossing powder. Could have done with a little bit finer, but I haven't got any. So, I thought I did have some um, light like resist resist spray somewhere but I can't remember where it is but I think that's spray so I'm 
and now I've got the alcohol resist or lift. Sure, have some more. Okay, right. Now, I think actually I was right in thinking to do the white, okay, definitely. Right, now, need some um, black soap might work. Yeah, let's have a look. Um, all right, let's look. Oh, colourful though, isn't it? Ooh, look, I'm not sure. Oh, this one, yep, yeah, here we go. Gosh, that's old. Still comes up though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, both are okay, right? I could do this a bit darker. I don't think I've got any other water based paint, um, water based ink. Oh, mine all tend to be permanent, except for the oh, Versamark, Versafine, that might smudge off. We've got this one. Nice little technique, you know. This I used to do things with cards years ago because I didn't have the right font or right sentiment, so I <laughs> used to stamp them out and do this. A little bit of bleed from the embossing powder there, but that's okay. We got a good one here. Okay, that's worked, but I have to dry that. And I will do the same with this one. Okay. And that was the Versafine, okay? Because this is water-based. Now we got to cut a little ticket out. Um, I've got a little die actually, but I'm not sure whether it'll fit. If not, I'll just cut them out anyway. Okay, so I found a die, um, one of the Sizzix ones. Um, I, oh gosh, I don't know. This, this is the number on here. It's 658784A because this is one of my loose ones. So I really don't know where it come from you know what um the packaging's gone rather okay but all those are good yeah and like that i mean there's a tiny bit of bleeding of the embossing powder in between this one but that one this one's perfect and it also it almost looks like chalk yeah and these 
didn't turn out too bad either. All right, more sort of maybe for something grungier. Well, it's quite grungy anyway, but I think those might stand out a bit better. Anyway, I'll have a look. Okay, so what I need to do now is stitch this because I'm going to have pockets. Um, maybe here, yeah, pocket here, pocket here and there, I think. Yeah, so I'm going to glue this down. Um, you can, right, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm not actually going to stick the butterfly in until, say, the signature's sewn in, and then I would then stick that in, okay, over, because it's sort of get, lending to itself to in the middle, so I know I've got, I don't really want to sew the signature in that way, okay, so what I'll do is I will just, I, I will pin it, you know, here, so I know once it's sewn in, I can then place that over there, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is um, stitch down here and then we can um, stick that in. Yep. And also this is going to go down there. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'll pluck it here and there. All right, and then we'll put this on. Okay, just going to ink around the edges. I'm quite happy, but even those, they're quite nice too. Yep. Yeah. I am going to use the white. Lovely, and then I'm going to stick this down now and then stitch it round. I'm going to have a number stamp up there, I think. I say it could be the date. Okay, that's dry enough for me to stitch now. And there we go. Okay, it's all stitched in. God, that's not, as you know, I suppose well put that in after. So I'll do some little tags for here. Um, I might have already things that will go in there. I'm not sure.
Let's see that. Now we'll give that a check. I think that one was all right. Yep, it is. Okay, so I sorted that out. Kind of that wonky tags. <laughs> so I'm going to put number down the bottom. Something else to go at the top. Might do. Bit of ink in. And you're done. Maybe a bit of coffee on it. <laughs> so what I'll do is dry them a little bit. Or tea. I keep saying coffee. It's because I drink coffee and not tea, but it, it, I, it is tea, not one. <laughs> right, I'm going to use a tiny bit of green on those. I think I have some out, or I did. Yeah, yeah I have. That'll do nicely. Bit of peel paint on there. Totally different colour to what I've got on the page, but hey ho. Doesn't matter. Add a little bit of interest, that's all. Okay. And what else we got? A bit of this. Salvage patina. That's better. Mix with that green, it's brilliant. And here we go. So I went ahead and made the little tags up. Okay, stitch around, just put stitch some sorry silk. Okay, similar colours. Oh, I did add a bit of blue into here so that if you look now it's matching. So let's brought that out there so they can go in sort of like that, and then there will be something like that, and then there'll be something in here eventually. And that will be there. Okay. And I'll put it in the journal in a minute. I'll just I'm gonna just take a picture of it like this for you know the YouTube video. And then I'll be back and I'll put it in the journal. There we go. I'll put it in, okay, because what I do when when I'm working on these I just put them in with elastic, okay? Then eventually, when it's all done, I will sew them in, okay? And that's when I'll stick this butterfly in there, okay? I mean, to be honest, it looks nice in quite a few places, to be honest, but I do like it in the middle like it was. So, well, this is, um, you know, I'm waiting to finish. I will just pin that in, okay? And I have pictures of it, so I'll remember where it's supposed to go, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, it's great. So, it's in there nice. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Oh, chunky. Yeah, I reckon I'd be able to do two out of this. Look, got to do something here, haven't we? <laughs> that really gory. Yeah. I've done loads in here actually. It just it's a matter of sort of going through now and finishing off. So, you know, done things and found things and I thought, oh that goes nice with that and I just popped them in. It's like here, I thought, oh that nice that really went well, but I haven't done anything else. 
I mean, this, this is all just really arty things that I like to do, and then I put them together, you know. And I, there's loads of videos on this. I think it's um, Junk in the Trunk Trashy Journal, something like that. So, yeah, I've got nice pockets there as well. I haven't seen it for a while because I've left it alone, so that goes in there. There's certain things I do sometimes that just need a place to go, so... And I put them in. Right. These these would go up a bit here, drop down a bit. That would be more in the centre. I think I kept this bit of paper because I really like the colour. <laughs> I should do. <laughs> so some of you remember me doing the cover because this side turned out better than that side. And then I didn't like that one at all. So I paint literally painted over it. <laughs> but I actually don't mind it now. And I am going to stamp that and do something. That's why I've left it there. It's not going to stay on that. But I wanted to remind myself I want to use that on the front because it's true. Art has no rules. Just play. Yeah. Let's have play and have a bit of fun. That's like a little notebook. But yeah. Gosh, I can't remember doing this. I think this is a little notebook or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, secrets. <laughs> yeah, so it's all good fun. Yeah, this was definitely all trashy stuff from junk in the trunk, that sort of thing. I quite like that, actually. I didn't like it at first when I'd done it, but I'm, I'm warming to it. I think it's quite a different style for me, but... Okay. Oh gosh, here we go. I've done really well today. No yawning. And I've just yawned. So it's time to pack up now. Anyway, thank you very much, everybody. And I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.